Hello and welcome to Zamora Gaming. I am your host, Joe Zamora here, and this is my first ever live on Facebook. So hopefully y'all can join in and tune in and enjoy. Well, I guess those two first ones were the same thing, right? But hopefully y'all enjoy and, you know, help me reach my goal of trying to get 100 followers and... Hopefully we can actually beat this game instead of lose all our Pokemon to one person. <laughs> Other than that, we'll see what we can do. Just making sure all my stuff is good and set up here. And then I can start. Let's see. Alright, now I have my comments open so I can see if anyone decides to comment. And here we go. So, if you remember from the last stream I was doing on YouTube, if you happen to watch on there, uh, I had a full team and they were all weak to ground and got freaking demolished. So, now I'm over here trying to... Uh, Rebuild, and this is the team I could come up with. Uh, I ran out of candies leveling up, so this is basically what I'm stuck with right now. But I have a level 36 Slowpoke, level 43 Foe. I have a Glalie at level 50. Swiper at level 50, and Table at level 50. So much fighting weakness, but hopefully we could overcome it so Bea hopefully we don't have to fight her but I'm sure we will but let's go ahead and continue on and fly where we're supposed to be make your way to Winden alright so I need to go back to route 10 so I'm in the right spot I just gotta go to the train no, wait, I'm not in the right spot. Gotta come all the way this way, and there we are. Now we can uh, use the train to go to Route 10. We've already tried our encounter there, and that was the Glalie. So, really, I think we're all out of encounters now. So, basically, if we don't win with this team, we're kind of stuck. And that will be the end of our lock if we lose. So let's hope um, we can overcome our fighting weakness and get going. Right, wild area. White Hill Station, I'm guessing. Yeah, looks about right. All right, well, we are here on Route 10, and we're going to work our way up the hill here. And let's see if we can't gain some levels from these trainers up here. Hey, Jaden. How's it going, man? Thank you for tuning in. All right. Steelix is up. And first, we have our ground weak Pokemon, <laughs> which is great. And most of our team is weak to steel, too. How fun. Alright, let's go ahead and try to get Slowpoke out here. It's a few... All good, mate. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, well, we got... Um... Well, he's also weak to ground. Ah, oh, man. I don't even know what to do here. Man, my whole team's weak to ground. Almost. Okay, let's see. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go Swiper. I should have went Swiper in the first place. See how well he takes this hit. Okay, not too bad. But we are going to get hit by Hell. And let's try to... Nasty Plot. Nasty Plot. 
All right, our attack sharply rose, and then his attack and defense sharply rose. So we both had boosting up in common. So I don't think we live this next hit. So I'm going to heal. And hope he digs again, I guess. It's not like I have protect, so I'm going to get hit anyway. Okay. Okay. Perfect. He missed. That's the best we could ask for. Now we're going to go ahead and start trying to snarl this thing to death. I should have put... Uh... There we go! Beautiful! I should have put more special attacks on this thing. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can do that here in a second. But we get a level up on our slowpoke, so that's good. How was your day, Jaden? How you doing? And since our special attack is boosted, we're going to stay out here. And go with another Snarl. Okay, one more hit should take it out. Hopefully high horsepower doesn't do too much. Okay, we're in the red. But we can live another hell turn. And we can for sure knock out this Mudsdale here. So Snarl we go. All right. Whoo! We got rid of that. We took out that problem. And let's go ahead and heal up our fox here. And see what it can learn, really. Okay. Attract, which doesn't attack. Beat up, which is physical. And a dig. Come on, learn something good. No, oh, this is a protect. Um, round? I guess that's better than... Nothing. That's a special move. Alright, let's see. Ooh, Shadow Ball. That's a good move for it to know. We're going to get rid of Thief. And pop Shadow Ball in there. What else? Snore, nothing. Swift, eh. U-turn. Sod can learn Wild Charge, but I, don't know, I think it's special is better. Um, table, what moves do you know? Because Rock Slide could go good on you. Wow, actually a really good move set. I'm not going to touch it. And then... Okay, Glalie, it's your turn. Let's see what you can learn. What moves do you have? Alright, you have horrible attack. So special attack's gonna be better for you. Bite, ice fang, and hell. We do have the ice body, so hell could come in handy. We're gonna go ahead and give you ice beam instead of uh, what ice fang, I think. Yeah, screw that move. And then, let's go ahead and see what else you can do. Yeah, U-turn could be good on Swiper. I might actually consider doing that. Uh, I don't have the DLC on this one to rest, so I'm not going to do it this time. But uh, when I do the Egg Lock, I think I will be doing the DLC on that one. Uh, round safeguard, no. I guess I could teach a Glalie Shadow Ball as well. Wouldn't hurt. Instead of Bite. Since the special attack is better. 
Also, Norris, thank you for watching. How you doing, man? And yeah, I'm gonna do U-turn. Let me go get that move. Instead of... You know what? Instead of round. I don't think I'll ever use that for real. Alright. And our team is as good as it's gonna get. Let's see if items worth... Oh man, a Duraludon? I wish I could catch that. Instead of a Glalie. Okay, we're going to try to run from this. Beautiful. <laughs> Level 55 Obama Snow. Get away from me. I don't want to battle anybody. Except these guys. Alright, he gets more nervous about battles than he does at work. Yeah, hopefully I get Charizard in one of my egg for the egg log. Hopefully, uh, PML knows me enough to think about about that. <laughs> All right, so we have Weavile versus our Poison Electric type. I think we have something to face this better. Ice is resisted. I mean, rock resist ice, so I'm going to go ahead and switch that in. Oh, wow. It went for a still tight move. Got me on that one. But I'm going to go ahead and brick break. Okay, it goes for the home claws to try to knock me out. But Weavile goes down to a Brick Break. And uh, Nares, to answer your question on uh, the PML chat, uh, the setup is pretty simple. So, it's not too bad. Okay, I have Sturdy, not Rockhead. So, I'm not going to learn Double Edge. But yeah, it was pretty simple. It was quick. And thank you for sharing. Of course. I always love the love. Whenever you sh uh, stream, I'll share yours. Alright, now we got a clay doll coming in. And let's see. Let's see how Glalie does. Let's get Glalie some screen time. Now I forgot to nickname these guys too. But uh, Glalie will be Jack Frost. So let's see what Jack Frost can do. Let's go with an Ice Beam here. Ooh, and that's some whopping damage right there. Goes for Earth Power. Ooh, nothing. It's not bad at all. And then Glalie gets some beautiful health back. And I forgot to heal the fox. I just realized that. And Frost Breath, since it's always crit, uh, it does, I think, 90 damage instead of 60. Yeah, once you get a capture card, you can stream on any uh, platform, really. When I do business, I'm a businessman. So when I battle, I should I be called Battleman? No, because you suck. Now let's actually heal this time. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Might as well heal everybody. And let's probably not lead a... Uh, no, wait, that's a flying type expert over there, so I am gonna lead uh, Sod here. Do you know the old legend that says Galar is doomed if Corviknight ever disappear? No, I haven't. 
It's actually the first time I've actually read what you had to say. So Corviknight's coming out. But we should be able to Thunderbolt it pretty well. Or Overdrive it, I should say. And his unnervability made me too nervous to eat berries. I don't get that uh, ability, but it comes in handy in some battles. And of course, Overdrive one-hit KOs. So beautiful. Swiper gets a level up as well. Oh, Flygon. Yeah, we got to switch for that one. Let's go ahead and go Table. Let's get that Blizzard. We are in the hell, so I think it's a 100% chance. Everyone's getting some screen time today, baby. Alright, Flygon. Prepare to die to a Blizzard. Man, Earth Power again. And that's a special attack, so it does pretty good damage to us. But this Flygon goes down. Hopefully I can get some battle items so I can boost our team a little bit. I actually don't have much about... I actually don't know much about the old Corviknight legend. Well, look at you spreading rumors and spewing uncommon knowledge. Let's see, do we have anything that we can help our uh, team with? No. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can involve the Slowpoke with the King's Rock. Uh, scope Lens raises critical hit. Let's go ahead and give that to Foe. Why not? No, let's give uh, Hardstone to Foe. Let's give King's Rock to Table. I don't know why. I'm just doing it. You know what? Let's give this to Foe since he's a physical attacker. Um, I don't know. I think we have another scope. Oh, wait, no. Let's give, let's give scope lens to system of a down. That's pretty much it. Use this on you. Use this on you. And use this on you. Alright, we pretty much used everything we possibly could. Let's give this to Glalie for no reason. But it'd be funny to see him with goggles, right? <laughs> And let's give, let's just give Swiper the Bright Powder, because it evaded a move earlier. We have nothing really else to give it, so. Why never train Toxtricity? It's the only mon that's uh, saved our playthrough. <laughs> well, it is the mon that saved our playthrough. But well, we're going to go ahead and train up uh, Sudowoodo anyway. Or Foe, I should say. I'm sorry guys for the delayed comments on the, on the screen. Well, as you watch. I'm, a, I'm responding as soon as I see the comment. But there seems to be like a 20 second delay. So, that's probably... Why are you getting that delayed reaction? And oh my god, I just realized there's a Pelipper on the field, and that is not something I want to see. Um. Ooh, let's go. I have no water resist. And everything's pretty specially weak. 91, 108. Uh, I guess, uh, Swiper, help us out here. Okay, so it went Tailwind, so we get a free switch in, which is good. Now, let's go ahead and go for Snarl. Okay, Water Pulse comes off. Does decent. Don't confuse me. Thank you. 
And Snarl lowers his special attack, so that's good for us. Now, we're going to take this turn to Nasty Plot. Alright! Bright Powder coming in clutch! Swiper is swiping the miss chances. Oh yeah! Twice in a row, baby! Bright Powder was a great item to put on this thing. And we get our plus two free and our snarl off. So now we'll be able to take out anything that's in the back. Alright, Noctowl comes in, that's fine. Yeah, Toxtricity is awesome. I love it. It's one of my favorite Pokemon in this generation. Alright, Snarl comes off. Even at a plus two, that Noctile is bulky. And it's going for the Hypnosis, and that hits. I have Bright Powder, and that hits. Alright. No, that sucks. And the Ice comes back. So we're going to go ahead and switch out here to Glalie. Because even when we get hit, we get a little bit of heal back with the uh, ice body. Okay. We don't get hit and roost is what happens. Um, I caught Glalie as a Glalie. So I didn't have an option. I would have went Frostlass. I think Frostlass hits harder and is faster. I think uh, Glalie's like, what, 60 base all across the board? It's horrible. Okay, cool. So we evade that. Let's go ahead and go for an Ice Beam. And that bulky Noctowl finally goes down. And we get our level ups like we should. Psych up. Um, no, I think Yawn's going to do us more. And Amnesia's basically exactly what we want boosted. Magnetic Flux. Nah, we don't need that. This ain't double battles. Plus, there's no one on the team, even if it was double battles, take advantage of that. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up our Sleeper. Wow, I didn't know Swiper was actually as good as it is right now. Maybe it's just because it's a playthrough. But it's actually putting in the work. I'm enjoying using Swiper. Or, I think uh, the name is... It evolves from a Nicket. A Thievil. Yeah. But yeah. Devil's actually doing pretty good. I'm enjoying using it right now. No. I pushed the wrong button. No! Alright, hopefully we can run away from this thing. That was my uh, impression of a bear tick. I couldn't get away! Alright, well, that's not good. I'm going to switch to an ice type Pokemon so we can get away. I didn't want to risk losing it to a stupid move. Run. Hey, what did it go for? Psychic Fangs? Oh, wait, no. See, my whole life, I thought Glalie was a dark type as well as an ice type, but it turns out it's just an ice type. Has that always been the case? Either way, whatever move it went for, it wasn't effective, so we're good. Let's go ahead and continue. There's nothing over here. Nope, get away. Let's move on to battling. Waha! Pokemon trainer. What should I do? I don't really want to battle. Then let me go. I don't want to battle you either. All 
Alright, he sent out Gigalith. Which is good for us. Sends out Sandstream, which boosts us as well. And we got Brick Break. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, man. Yeah, I knew that thing was defensive, so. But as physically defensive as we are, we did not take that pretty well at all. And it's not the level difference, because we're only level under. Alright, he goes fire and defense. But Brick Break should take care of it. <laughs> yeah, Jaden. Uh, okay, so Sheer Cold. He used Sheer Cold. And yeah, I also thought it was Dark Type just because the way it looked, I guess. I guess our, our brains fooled us into actually thinking that. But, you know, it, it would be more fitting, I would think, as a Dark Type. Yeah, I know fighting types really wreck it now, but I'm hoping uh, Slowpoke and Solder enough to break through that weakness. All right, now we got um, Rhydon. There's really no good Pokemon to go to here, but I'm gonna go Glalie, only because it has really super effective moves and it's possibly faster. Than it, other than, uh, rather than what, uh, Table would be. Forget his real name. <laughs> but yeah, that Stealth Rocks helps him. Let's hope Ice Beam helps us. Oh, but it's in the sun, I mean, it's in the sand, so his special defense is boosted. Okay, beautiful. Stone Edge missed. We might have lost Glalie there. If that would have connected. <laughs> Jesus. Hey Melvin, welcome to the stream. But thankfully, we make it out of that without losing a Pokemon. So Hacker Donald goes down. But now we gotta heal. Okay, let's see. And yes, I'm going to heal pretty much after every battle if I take any damage. Because uh, that's how I've lost some Pokemon already is due to being stupid and just not being careful about it. Gentleman Glenn sends out his Darmanic. Frick. And it's hailing, so I don't think... Oh well, screw it. Let's go rock slide. Okay, beautiful. He taunts for some reason. I know this is in game, but still, you gotta be worried about its move set. And down goes Darmanitan. Because it does get superpower, even in the game. I've seen it be used. Ooh, parting shot. That's actually gonna probably be better for us than U turn. So I'm gonna do that. So Swiper learns Parting Shot. Beautiful. Alright, Phalanx is coming in. Which is a fighting type. So I'm going to go System of a Down here. And I'm going to go ahead and Overdrive. Boom, baby! And you're gone. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And Foe also grows levels. So that's great for us. Graplock comes in. So we need to keep. Uh, we need to keep System of a Down out. And go for another Overdrive. Oh. 
All right, it hangs on, but it bulks up. So we pretty much get the kill here, and we are good to go. Not much, brother. Just here playing some Pokemon. <laughs> Hopefully, y'all's day is going great. And I really appreciate y'all taking the time out of y'all's day to watch. Or just have me as background noises. <laughs> Who knows? But at least y'all are here. And Slowpoke is growing levels steadily and surely. And also, there's a 30 second delay. I haven't been able to figure out how to change that here on Facebook. So, until I figure that out, uh, that's something I would have to be dealing with. And there's double battles coming up here. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch out Table instead of Slowpoke. Because it has Blizzard and it can hit two people. So, let's see how we can... Uh, Measure up to these guys. Yeah, hopefully we can keep it going. We had one close call on a stone edge. That's right before you started watching, so... I was real nervous about that. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know if Blizzard's really going to help us much here. But... Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and Brick Break on Kling Kling and just hit the blizzard anyway so he goes thunder into who Avalog alright so table has to take a hit here Kling Kling goes for screech so that's good he didn't double up we go brick break which does really good damage actually and then we hit blizzard and oof. Oh, but we freeze clean clean. So to be safe here, I'm going to go ahead and switch out table into sod. System over down. And uh, I'm going to brick break into the Heliolisk since clean clean is frozen. Yeah, I was going to be like, you know what, screw this game. <laughs> I just spent all this time leveling these guys up. Alright, so Kling Kling stays frozen. Brick Break goes off. Knocks out Heliolisk. Beautiful. Everyone gains some EXP. No one gains a level yet. But uh, System of a Down might gain a level here. Oh, I didn't know he had an extra Pokemon in the back. So Noivern comes in. I'm going to go for Rock Slide. And I'm going to heal. No, it's risky. I'm just going to go ahead and Overdrive. Poof. You got this, System of a Down. Okay, he just goes Tailwind. Beautiful. Setting up to die. Overdrive comes off. Good damage on Noivern and knocks out the Kling Kling. And a level up there. The Rock Slide comes off and connects. Noivern goes down. Whew! A lot of level ups on that one. Sudowoodo and Glalie. Alright, so our team's getting a little low on health, but it's a token tomorrow, so we can deal with that. Let's go ahead and use Dig and Heal, because I'm, I'm assuming it's going to need two hits to take out anyway. So to be on the safe side, I'm going to Dig and Heal. I mean, yeah, there you go. Dig and Heal. Interesting, he goes into System of a Down instead of... Sudowoodo. And then I'm just going to go Boom Burst here while the day connects because I'm afraid it's a lightning rod and I wouldn't want to deal with it. And I hope this Boom Burst goes off first because 
<laughs> I didn't realize it hits my 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 partner Pokemon too. Down goes Togedemaru, and that should be the last battle of this route. Iron Barbs takes effect, but we live it. We're fine. And our team is going straight through. Alright, let's keep on trucking. Hopefully there's no more people up here. So I can heal. Ooh, beautiful. Look at that. Corvus Squires just going across. It is no longer winter. It is now spring. Let us frolic through the tunnel and heal our Pokemon. Come on. All right. It looks like Zack is loving Galarian Slowbro. Pokemon I can't use. Hop, I don't have time to deal with your shit right now. So, leave me be. And if we had a Rotom, we could change its form here as well. And I think I could find the Air Balloon here. Which would be good to have. <sighs> and lastly, but not leastly, guys, we are here. We are where we need to be, and let's see what we can buy over here. <clears throat> I'm not going to spend money on that, but... Full restores, please. I need full restores. Can of corn. Can of corn and I'll be fine. Can of corn. Alright, there we go. We got some full restores and now let's go look for items to help us on our journey. Because we will need them. Desperately. And if you guys know a good spot for some items, let me know. I'm just going to find the ones I can think of. Oh, man. Rare candy, which is always good. And grassy seed, which doesn't help our team. What's over here behind door number two? Nothing. Alright, let's get some battles in. Nope, can't do that. Ah, uh, apparently, I guess he's the guy who teaches, like, Charizard and Blastoise and Venusaur their special moves. But, don't want to teach it to any of my Pokemon. Because I don't have any of them. Alright, let's get back on our bike and... Make our way this way, I guess. Whoa. I knew I was going to go left, but that threw me off how the camera just suddenly changed. Yeah. I want that. Whatever it is. Ooh, black sludge. We can actually make use of that. Ooh, that's not a bad idea either. I just got to do that little puzzle, and I forgot how to do it. Yeah, we don't need him to get in crits. We need him getting health. I know there's an item somewhere over here. I believe. Um, let's see. Let's go this way. Monorail Station. Wenden Station. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just go to Wenden. Uh, 
I will do the expert belt thing though pretty soon. Why am I doing now? Screw it. We'll do it live. Let's just do it now. I think I could figure out how to do it. Okay, let's see. I know we gotta talk to a girl. Not you, lady. Mm, not you either. The little girl, right? A treasure lies buried somewhere in Turfville. According to the treasure map, the trick to finding the treasure lies in the standing stones. Seek yourself three standing stones with grass before the other ones. Use well that strength and then find the strength of its strength in the end. What? Use well that strength and find strength. And find then the strength of its strength in the end. Dally not if you've a mind to find what time has left behind. That's it. Okay. Um, I know you got to first go to this one. Down here. grass and then I think it's this one over here water and then there's the other three stone one I believe oh I don't think it's the three stone one but I, this one yes I did it I got expert belt and I'm gonna give that to uh, foe because he has the most uh, wide variety of moves let's go ahead and come this way oh crawd on hold on this is in turfville still right I don't have a Turfville encounter. So I could technically catch this Crawdon and add it to my team. Of course, this is another fighting weakness, but it's probably stronger than Table. Let's see. Don't want you here. Table, you're going to help me catch your replacement. So, Jaden, thank you very much for helping me <laughs> about the expert built thing, because now we're going to add a different member to our team, hopefully. And it's a level 50. So let's go ahead and go. Don't tell me we don't have quick balls. No! God dang it. Alright, so we can't use quick balls. So we're gonna have to damage this thing. Dang it. Wrong butt. Let's go ahead and body slam. Okay, so Night Slash comes off. Take it beautifully, because we are tanky and defensive. Paralyzed. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and get you in a luxury ball. I know it's not lowest health it can be, but I don't want to risk a crit. And we catch a new member for our team, Crawdont. Oh wait, I guess we won't replace uh, Slowpoke. I mean, Table, since it's such a high level. We'll replace Slowpoke. And we're going to nickname it after the man who helped me find him. Un unintentionally, but he still helped. Jaden. I think it's a boy. How do you party? 
Thanks, Melvin. I'm glad I caught it. Let's get rid of Slowpoke. And place it in the bag. And Jaden is with us now, helping us out. And it's a female, but it's okay. We'll pretend it's a male, Jaden. <laughs> so now we have a mighty Jaden on our team. So our lowest level is now foe, but we can fix that, I believe, with a rare candy. Let's give it that. Mm, I'm not gonna give it head smash only because it has recoil and it could miss oh yeah you do use that in draft a lot beautiful it all adds up it was meant to be and I don't think I could catch a Pokemon in any other town either so I think that was really the best we got because only other Pokemon we can catch in a town was over here that whole berry which is also a water type but I already caught that one and that one died uh, that's route 2 but we can go get some items over here to try to help us I believe nope not that way no get off the chair lazy ass we got things to do come this way nope can't go that way but we can come this way nope don't want to catch you there we go I know there's a bottle somewhere well a pokeball uh, somewhere get away um I know there's a way somewhere over here Right. Can we get an item? There we go. I don't remember what these items are, but I know there's items. And the psychic seed kind of looks like execute, don't you think? I like how it skids even though we're in the water. It goes. Ah! All right, guys. Uh, no. It's a bear scooter, but we'll run away from it. Let's go ahead and go this way. Any more items you can think of me finding, Jaden? Because uh, I'm honestly tapping into everything I got here. Eh, off Sagoon. Oh. Get away from me. Alright, now we got Psycho Cut. And I'm not sure there's any other place to, uh... You know, water off. Just randomly. Slumbering Wield. I don't think we go back in there right now, can we? Because I don't have an encounter there. Let's see. Nope, can't go back in there right now. Ba do 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 we? Mm. Like I said, I didn't catch Pokemon over here in each area, but I'm not going to now because it's already too late. I don't feel like I should break that rule just because I'm struggling. But, yeah, I think that's the best we're going to do for now. So let's go ahead and go back to Winden. And let's see who can learn Psycho Cut, because that'd be a pretty good move to have. Don't need those. Psycho Cut. Nope, nothing. But let's see what moves we can get on Jaden. 
to boost his attack stats. So what moves does it have? I'm just going to see that right now. Rock slide. Attack and special def special attack are pretty good. Defense is good. It has razor shell, night slash, and crunch. Doesn't need both. But I don't think rock slide's what I want on it. Let's see. Let's keep going. Whirlpool, Waterfall. That'd probably be better than Razor Shell. So get rid of that. Get Waterfall on there. I think we have Swords Dance. No, we don't have Swords Dance. Damn. That would have been awesome. So let's see. What else can you learn? Nope. Not Round. Not Retaliate. No, not false swipe either. <laughs> okay, I'll give you the scope lens for sure. I haven't decided on the item yet either. So I think s scope lens would do good. Um, Let's see. I'm going to give it brick break. break. Just in case it needs to break through a steel type. Because steel does resist water. And let's give him the scope lens. Because we do need to give him an item. Alright, there we go. Jaden with the scope lens. Danger is coming. Okay. I think we're set to start the tournament. So let's go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to do a little bit of the first part of the tournament. But I know we ain't going to be able to do the whole tournament tonight. I'll probably stream again on Saturday or Friday. It depends. But I'll keep y'all updated in the group for those who do want to know. Yeah, it'll stack with Night Slash, and I think, uh, you know, just naturally it'll it'll help boost it with Waterfall and stuff. Ah, I just taught it Waterfall. Oh well, I'm sure I'm sure it'll be good. So again, I don't know who we battle first, but this is the team we're bringing. So let's hope we're high enough leveled. And if we don't get completely demolished again, I'll be streaming again soon this week. I'm going to try to stream at least two times a week. So that should be good for us. And we have Marnie, the dark type trainer. So Sudowoodo with its expert belt and brick break is going to do us some good here. So let's just go ahead and try to do it. So don't take it personally when I kick your butt. Uh, I don't think so, bad braids. Alright, first off, we have a Liper to deal with. And Pseudo Hoodoo coming out with the front flip. He knows it's prime time, baby. He's like, get me out here. Struck a pose, landed it and everything. So let's go ahead and brick break here. Tries to get a nasty plot off, but we're going to go ahead and get that expert belt brick break going. And down goes Lyperd with one strike of a fake tree branch. Alright, EXP points go up. Scrafty comes in. And we do not have a fairy type move. But we also don't want foe in there right now. 
So system of a down, you're only fighting answer. So you're going out. And also guys, uh, this is me talking in general and out loud. I know this is pretty late in the video, but if you're still watching on YouTube, this is a this is a post video, a past video, I guess, a past live stream that uh, I will start doing my live streams here on Facebook, and I will be posting the videos on YouTube for people to rewatch and enjoy. So always catch me live on Facebook. As I go in for this overdrive. And that does pretty good damage. Comes in with the crunch, which we should take pretty decently. There we go. One fourth damage, and we restore health with Black Sludge. So I'm enjoying that item already. Overdrive comes in again and knocks out the Scrafty. So we do gotta keep in mind. Um, she does have access to Dynamax, and obviously it's in-game, so she's only going to do it with the last one. Um, again, that's Toxic Croak, so it's a fighting type. That one's not dark. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the overdrive here. So, I also noticed battling with gems and stuff well battling as a gym leader that saw toxicity is a very bulky Pokemon and looking at its stats right off it wouldn't seem like it damn that did a lot more that time around And last but not least, Overdrive, baby. Let's get this thing in the ground. Okay, more Pico is her ace, and it's coming out. Let's go back to foe. One, two, three, to the foe. Gonna break, break that bitch into the flow. Probably ruined it with that last part, but it's fine. We end this schniz, shiznit. And let's go ahead and Dynamax here and get a Max Knuckle. Because Max Knuckle might be needed for her last Pokemon. I believe it's an Obstagoon, but not too entirely sure. I don't think it is actually, because that's her brother's ace Pokemon. I'm surprised she's not uh, finishing with more Pico here. Okay, so Spark comes off, we take the hit, no paralysis, which is beautiful, and we get the max knuckle off to knock this thing in the next week, and we get an attack beast. So down goes Marnie's ace, more Pico. Oh, that's right, she has a grim snarl. Well, we are plus one. And she's going to Gigantamax, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Max Rockfall Stab. We are plus one. And plus, uh, Sandstorm will give us a boost in special defense. Not that it's going to help, but it will give us a boost nonetheless. And it'll get some decent chip damage off on Grimmsnarl. Oof, that's scary. Alright, who's faster here? Okay, Max Starfall goes off first. Our defenses need to come in handy here. And it does. We can take an... Oh, wait, no, we can't take another one. But we should be fine. So, Max Rockfall, here we go. Does over half, but we do need a heal here. Ain't that ridiculous? You could heal up a Dynamax Pokemon. It is going to waste our last turn of Dynamax, but it's very necessary.
So Max Starfall comes off. And we take that one rather well. But we will not take this next one well. So we're going to heal up again. There we go. Now I believe we should be able to live it no matter what because we have Sturdy. Oh my god. This is our favorite move. Oh, that's going to put us to sleep, ain't it? Oh no, we don't get put to sleep, but we did get massively hit, so heal up again. I know healing is kind of cheap, but uh, we're going to do what we can to make this thing live. Alright, take that very well, and we're going to go ahead and finish this thing off with a rock slide. Good thing I didn't go sucker punch there. So Rock Slide connects, and it goes down. So we do win our first fight. Side goes level 54, and everyone's cheering and dancing except for the one defeated. All right, Marnie. Well, too bad for you. Everyone in the same was watching us during all that. Yeah. What else would they be looking at? Alright. Hop is going to come and congratulate us. And I think he fights fire now. Is what it said. Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but... The match before years ended more quickly than expected. Challenger hop one quite handily, and he's on the pitch. Okay. I think this is going to be the last battle I do. But let's go ahead and finish off strong with one more battle. Let's do this. Who are we fighting? Oh man, we fight Hawk. I just had this sort of flashback, you know, remember? Uh, it's kind of, you know, and remember the same thing, Hop. Tired of your face. Welcome back, Jaden. We are facing Hop. Challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. 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 So he sends out his double first, and we send out foe first. Again, with the front flip, knowing it's prime time. We looking clean with our glasses on still. He exchanges some dialogue, and we go ahead and go for the brick break. Zen Headbutt, Zen Headbutt does nothing. Ooh, and that boosted Brick Break, baby. Oh, it's critical hit. So let's go ahead and go for the Sucker Punch. Oh, man. Yeah. He was using it to uh, baton pass shenanigans a lot last season. But it, uh, there's a video of mine and his battle on uh, YouTube that we did just for fun. And he was cotton guarding and cotton guarding and then substitute and cotton guard. He was basically plus four. And then... Um, what you call it? He baton passed behind the substitute, and I dynamaxed my Dragapult and 
hit into him and it went through the substitute because I had infiltrator and it killed his Pokemon and I was just like oh my god no way he fell for the infiltrator infiltrator trick All right, so Snorlax is coming out, and I'm gonna go tape. No, let's go Jaden. He needs to get some screen time. Jaden is making his debut. All right, baby, the swords dance here. Let's really show him a good time. Snorlax ain't gonna know what hit him. Oh man, hammer arm. Woo, I didn't know what hit me there. Let's go ahead and go for this brick break and hope it knocks it out. Oh, and it didn't. Whoa, Jaden goes down <laughs> on his debut. That sucks. I should have switched out, but I really thought the brick break was going to knock it out. Oh boy. This is what happens when you get cocky. Sorry, Jaden. But, uh, Toxicity is here. We're going to go ahead and overdrive. I guess what's an episode without a little drama, right? Damn it. I really didn't want to lose that Pokemon so soon. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and go Glalie here. So he sends out Pincurchin. And we're just going to go ahead and Ice Beam this thing to death. Curse. Okay. That's annoying. So we saw how much um, Ice Beam does. Let's see if Frost Breast does something. Yeah. Frost Breath does more. Okay, and it avoided me. Okay, so it did curse and used a physical move. I mean, a special move. Well, come on. Don't miss Frost Breath this time. It does about the same as Ice Beam. But at least Ice Beam doesn't freaking miss. There we go. Glalie grows to level 53, and Corviknight comes back out, so we're gonna go system of it down here. <laughs> I know, Jay. That's that's my bad. I got arrogant with the swords dance. I didn't think you would actually have coverage for a dark type. But let's go ahead and go for an overdrive here. I was hype about that thing too. I never get to use Crawdon. Alright, so Inteleon's coming in, so we're gonna stay in. We're gonna Dynamax. Toxtricity, and we're gonna max electrocute this thing. We're gonna have fried lizard for dinner tonight. Release all the thoughts poured into my wishing star. Time for a Dynamax. I'm a Dynamax too, but I don't need a whole freaking dialogue. All right, Super Spy Inteleon is on the field. 
And we have Rockstar. Excuse me. System of a down. Going live in Dynamax form. Ready to rock the base. Lizard versus Lizard. Who's going to win? Oh, wow. He goes for Max Quake. What the hell is this? Oh, we live on one. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. Not so easy anymore, Nurse. Uh, that was on one. And I don't know if that's... I do not know if that was a low roll. <laughs> I do not want to risk that again. Oh, boy. Dilemma, dilemma. What do I do here? I think I'm going to have to go table on this one. He's going to have to take a max move. Now it's just turn one. Okay. Max Quake. It should be Dig, right? Oh, boy. Um, let's go ahead and Hyper Potion. Table. So it could live this next hit. You're telling me, Melvin. I was about to say, the lone survivor from the last episode is going to die this episode? All right. Max Darkness. Okay, so Special Defense Falls. Here we go. I'm going to play it smart. I'm going to switch out to my full health Swiper. And hopefully Bright Powder gets us somewhere here. Snipe Shot. Okay, that, I don't think that misses. Damn, and that does a lot of damage. Okay, snapshot again. Yeah, it does the same amount of damage every time, and I don't think it misses. We might have to sacrifice somebody here if this doesn't miss. Oh, that was a crit. Oh, fuck you. How can you be proud of a crit? Okay, I'm going to look this up. Snipe shot. Does it miss? Goddamn Yahoo. Snipe shot Pokemon. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so it has a, it can miss. It's 80 base power. 100 accuracy. Bright powder knocks it down to 90 or 95. There's bank on a miss. Miss. God damn it. Well, at least we know a crit doesn't take us out. Oh my god. What the fuck? Was that a high roll crit? Miss. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Let's just snarl and get out of here. Yeah, 
Yeah, get the fuck out of here, you bastard. So Bright Powder saved us. <laughs> From losing anyone else, anyway. Oof. That and a bunch of potions. <laughs> Woo, boy. That was insane. And Teleon was trying to run my team. Oof. Oh, thank you for whoever added, got added as a follower. Add the victor of the semifinals, the challenger, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. You just ruined my whole team. Oh, man. That was a stressful battle. But, I guess we ain't gonna have it any other way. And no one cares, Leon. You're gonna lose to somebody. Might not be me, but hopefully me. Yeah, I'm exhausted. Let's go to the hotel, I guess. Uh, doesn't make sense that we're taking a break, but... Yeah, I mean, that was the last battle for us. Uh, as soon as we get out of all this dialogue, heal up our team. Uh, I will remind you guys, I did post a bunch of links to my old playthroughs. Most of them are not finished. And I'm trying to get into a better habit of it. I might try to remake the teams I had last in the last episode of those playthroughs and try to regain some steam with it. Yeah, it was just luck, I guess. Uh, yeah, he's a bitch. Loving crits. Okay, level with me, kiddo. You're on a side. Think you can win the finals, too? Not really sure. I'm going to be honest on that one, too. But, um... Yeah, guys, I was saying, uh, a bunch of my old playthroughs aren't finished. I might try to build a team up and, like, build to where I was in those games and get past it. Who knows? I know the randomizers I've done, I can't do that with because I don't have those same files. But, you know, I'll see what I can do. Rose Tower... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna need y'all to help me remember this next time I stream. Because I don't think I'm gonna remember what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm supposed to go with them. But lastly, I mean, lastly but not leastly, we have to put our good old friend Jaden into the box. And I guess pick out Slowpoke because there's no other Pokemon available to us. And as you can see, without catching one Pokemon in each area of the wild area, it really limits our team of what it could have been. And that's why we are left with this. <laughs> but again, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe on Facebook, I mean on YouTube, uh, follow on Facebook, and go ahead and watch some of my older streams, they're not going to be as good, I don't think, you know, if y'all don't think this is good, those are definitely not going to be good, but it, it is as enjoyable, I believe, so, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.